What's up guys, it's your boy Sander Chain 97 here bringing you back to another video and this is actually going to be my first top 10 video because those of you guys I was watching Wrestlemania has probably already seen the teaser for WWE 2K22 and I can't wait for it to come out but there are some things that we want in the game but sometimes 2K just doesn't listen to their fans but I am personally bringing you my top 10 things we need in WWE 2K 22 and before we get on today's list don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more and let's begin number 10 old and new match types before 2k took over the rights to the wwe games thq made a lot of games that will entertain the hell out of us they had the i quit they have the infernal match they had the ambulance match they had Buried Alive, they had the gauntlet. I don't know if they had the ambulance match. I'm pretty sure I'm confused about that. But if it was never in a WWE game, please put it in 2K22. And also for new, we need war games and we need a lumberjack match. Because ever since they start making war games previews for NXT, we just never got a single war games match or arena in the WWE 2K games. But... It will really be awesome to see that in WWE 2K22. So 2K, if you're listening, put in a game. It's never too late. Also, number nine, community creations cross platforms, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. For those of you that play WWE games on the PC, you obviously see the awesome mods on there, and you will love to see those type of mods on the PS4 and Xbox platforms. Also, yeah, the community creations in WWE 2K20 were completely garbage. Because most of the times when you search for the superstars that you want, you don't get them. Especially, I searched for Cody Rhodes and they just kept giving me the same old superstars, but they just kept getting multiplied by different accounts. Don't believe me? Look at this. Number 8, Better Packs. A YouTuber named Smat Talks was making three videos of ECW lives, and with a pack like that, that would be awesome in WWE 2K22. Along with, if they do make a WCW pack, that will also be awesome too, because to be honest, I wasn't really a fan of WWE 2K Originals and WWE 2K20, because I felt like they were pay paying attention more to that than fixing their own game. Number 7, the old Royal Rumble camera. This camera was last used in WWE 13 and will love for it to make it to return in WWE 2K22 because to be honest, I really want to see the entrances of the wrestlers when they enter the match. That would be really awesome. And number 6, Spotify for create a entrance. YouTuber WrestleLamia made a video about this and I definitely agree with them. They do need to put this in WWE 2K games because I can't stand the custom themes in the game. It's just downright awful. It will really be awesome to put Spotify part of the themes in WWE 2K22. Hopefully they would do that. Number 5, create a finisher. Oh my god, I wish they would bring this back. How awesome would it be just to create your own finisher once again? These modes were part of the SmackDown vs. Raw games. I'm pretty sure the last one was in WWE 2K14 or 13, I don't know. But yeah, I would like for this mode to return. Number 4, Road to WrestleMania. Honestly, I'm getting sick and tired of showcase mode. It's just not that funny anymore. But the Road to WrestleMania series was the best. They debuted from SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 and they ended in WWE 12. I, I just wish they would bring it back because I, I just can't do showcase anymore. Number three, new backstage bras. Yeah, this been this has been going on since 2K17. I just get sick and tired of doing the same backstage brawl every single time. Especially, it's always one on one. You just can't do it two on two backstage brawl like they did in WWE 2K14. Well, everyone knows that that game wasn't actually made by 2K. It was actually made by THQ. So 2K14 was actually THQ's last game of 
the making. But yeah, I would like for them to add that in WWE 2K22. Pray to God they will. Number two, hair physics. Yeah. The YouTuber Legends Games, yeah, he really talked about this, and I totally agree with him. Especially in WWE 2K20, there was like two mo. Yeah, there was like. Um, yeah, there was like Alexa Bliss from 2019 and Alexa Bliss from two, 2016, where she had that Harley Quinn hairstyle. So yeah. I wish they gave us an option whenever you're creating an attire for a wrestler to change their hairs and that. That would really be cool. And number one, story designer in universe mode. Oh, I miss story designer. It was like one of the best scenes of WWE games. It, it went from SmackDown vs. 2010 to WWE 2K14. I don't know. Not know why 2K decided to take this out, but please put it back in because I'm getting sick and tired of doing the same stuff in universe mode, especially the freaking promos and that. The promos are the exact same shit. And pray to God, I just w I want to write my own promos. I want to make my own cutscenes, and that. Just please, 2K, just please put it in the game for God's sake. You want this to be one of the best WWE games. You want everyone to forget 2K20. Put this in the game. You got to. And I guess that's it. I hope you guys liked today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more. Hit that notification bell for more of my content. And tune in for next time, folks. Peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact